Welcome back to Star Citizen and welcome back to the verse, guys. We are at HRL2 at the um, station there, floating in the beautiful new clouds, which you can see behind me out the window, which look fantastic. Absolutely love the new effects around the verse. Looking good. And we need to go and rent our first rentals. We are getting the mighty rock, the little rock mining vehicle, and a cutlass black. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's what we're going to do. So I thought we would start here. So anyone that didn't know, you could see how you get these. We're at one of the stations out in the asteroid belt. Looks like this is HRL2. So if you come to basically any of these, so HURL4, CRUL3, any of them out in the asteroid belts, you will find a station like this. And all you do is go to the um, inner station transit. It's nice and um, clearly signposted for us. So inner station transit, and then you just need to go to the refinery deck once you get in the elevator. And here we go. So you come out to the refinery deck and just follow the pathway to the service area. And um, they've done a real good job with these places. It looks fantastic. Absolutely love it. And it's nice to start seeing different areas of stations and things for, you know, certain gameplay. Like I said, come straight through. And then you'll find the mining support center, which is where you can hey, buy. Back again, I see. Hello, Welcome. thank you. You can buy Ending different. All right. Shut up! My God, the NPCs are so annoying. The... <laughs> you can buy mining heads for your ship. That's what they are. You can buy clothing for your character. You can buy armor. Um, you can buy the rucksack, the Novikov, and I believe the Pembroke as well. Well, that is the Pembroke, so yeah. You can buy lots of different stuff here. It's kind of cool. And then, obviously, you've got the terminals there to use the shops. But if you come down here, you will find equipment rentals. Hi, good to have you back. They love a chat, don't they? All right? Yeah, mate. I... You can see I'm showing people around, and you're interrupting me. Shut up. Okay. I think he's done. So yeah, this is the way you rent, rent different ships and things. So you come up to the console. And bring them up. There you go. You can see the Grey Cat Rock, 4,300. You've got the Prospector for 51.5. That's actually gone up in price from what it used to be, I believe. And you've got the Cutlass Black for 34,600. So there you go. My God, they don't shut up. And so that's for the 24-hour rental period, which is what we're going to be getting. So we'll get the ship first, just to be safe. And then we'll get the rock. And uh, there we go, we've got 9.1k left over. Now, the reason I've done it that way around, the reason I've got the rock and the cutlass black instead of a prospector, is because if I get the prospector, and someone else pointed this out to me in the comments of one of the earlier videos, I'm just trying to make sure I've got some sort of a plan as we go forward. I didn't consider at the time that um, I'm going to have to actually transport anything I mine with the Prospector. We wouldn't have no way of doing that. So when we've mined something the Prospector, we'd bring it here to the refinery and then we'd need to haul it to somewhere else to sell it. No way of doing that right now. So better off with the rock and the Cutlass Black. I was thinking we could get eventually get a Prospector out for the day and then hire out a Cutlass Black afterwards. Right? Oh my God, they're really getting on my nerves. I wish I could pull a gun on them. And this dude's going to walk in. Hey. Hey. Wow. So, yeah, we could maybe get a Prospector, then get a Cutlass Black. And we could, you know, haul the stuff with the Cutlass Black to sell it. If you don't know where the refining place is, it's up above the shop. I fell down the stairs. Oh, get up. 
And um, yeah, this is where you can sell your Hi. ore. Good to have you back. Every single time. Shut you up. Everything all right? No. Leave me alone. This is my annoyed face, apparently. Okay. When you're refining stuff, you come up to the refining processing computer. And it connects. And then you click begin. And then you can refine stuff. We will do that at a later date. But if you didn't know where to do it, that's where you do it. So I am wondering, will I be... A no, I won't be able to bring my ore here from the rock, will I? So the only issue I'm going to have with the rock is trading stuff at the moment is a little bit buggy when you're selling your, you know, your mined goods from your rock. It could be a bit of an issue. Uh, I'm hoping we don't have no problems, but you never know, and we're just going to have to see what happens. I think this is going to be the better way to do it, though. Get the rock, get the cutlass black, get ourselves some hadonite, and um, go and trade that. I'll go get the cutlass black, I will fly down to a planet surface and collect the rock from a vehicle terminal, and we'll go and get some mining done, finally. And here we go guys, I am down at Ariel, I'm just heading to HDMS L Lathan? Yeah, Lathan. And um, yeah, this is the Cutlass Black. I'm sure a lot of you would have seen this ship before. This is a great ship. It's our first new ship um, other than the Aurora. And again, we've rented this, so it's not ours, but it is our first ship. And we've not spent any more money yet, and we're flying a cutlass black around um, again we've got this for 24 hours we're going to be using it to ship a rock mining vehicle around with which we'll see in a moment but while you've got this you could go off and do some bounty missions with it you could do bounties you could do claim jumper missions anything like that the cutlass black is very very good at as well so um, yeah it's nice to be at this point now and we want to be Somewhere here by these vehicle pads will do. It looks quiet here today. You do have to be careful over here. You know, good chance of pirates turning up. Um, this is a place they like to come and check for people you know, transporting goods. That should do there. Lovely. Quick look around the interior of Cutlass Black if you've not seen it. This is a cockpit, very cool cockpit. I love the way the um, seats go up into the, you know, higher part of the cockpit area when you get in the seat. Got your sleeping quarters, you've got access to the turret there. Got some weapon racks. Again, you've got the beds, you can log out in the beds if you wanted to. And through here, we've got the cargo bay. Yeah, got two side hatches, which both open. Like so, looks cool. Obviously, you can use them to EVA out in space. And then you've got the rear ramp with a nice little control panel there. And plenty of room for most vehicles in the game, I believe. Um, I don't know what the limit is, but you can definitely get the rock in here. Just get out of shirt, just in case anyone wants to try it on. <laughs> and look, so these are the vehicle summoning pads. And when you come to an outpost like this, if you look for this little funky building with this sort of blue marker beacon on the top, that is where you can summon a vehicle. And normally the same sort of style cabin is that but with red markings on it and a red beacon is the um, like trade terminal building I know lots of you will already know this stuff but this is also for the benefit of anyone like thinking about getting the game or that's just got the game you know I'm hoping to show all the little things like that as I go and um, yeah any of the veterans of the verse feel free to comment in the videos and give out any pointers to other people as well and also for myself there'll be plenty of stuff i don't know as well right gray cat rock retrieve because uh, like i said before that obviously the whole idea of the series is to show the gameplay with only an account using uec and no extra cash onto it 
And there's the rock out there looking cool. Um, but I also want to show as much different gameplay as I can, you know, to show you that you don't need anything special to do all the different types of things in the game. And uh, also just show new people around the verse and how where I can kind of thing. So, yeah. That's why sometimes there might be some basic stuff getting covered. But here we have the rock. Look at it. It's pretty cool. I'm so um, <laughs> pumped when this got released recently. It was uh, a very nice addition to the game. Definitely needs a bit more tweaking, but it is very good. Um, like I said before, though, I prefer ship mining with a prospector. But like I said earlier, we've got no way of transport and stuff right now. Systems Systems on. Looking good. Ooh. <laughs> that was creepy. Right, let's get this open. Look, a mannequin comes to life. But I was about to say, until I got creeped out, I love the animation of the um, entrance and exit of the rock. Let's gently get this up there. Oh no, why is the ship bouncing in the air? Whoa. Okay, that should be fine. Hopefully. That was a little bit temperamental, but uh, we did it. Oh, I've just realised, though, guys, I don't have the Pembroke armour. Now my uh, door won't shut. Well, we'll try and shut it from the cockpit. It still won't shut. Yeah, not having the Pembroke armor is going to be a massive issue on Ariel. There we go, that's got it. Now, we are going to definitely head away from from the outpost um, like I said earlier there's a good chance people will come looking for easy pickings so I'm going to go out into the atmosphere go across the planet a little bit come back down then start searching for the ore just so we're a little bit away from anywhere and uh, be harder to get found kind of thing we'll be out of the way so now we're out in the middle of nowhere, we'll start scanning, so we just press tab to bring up the scanner, hold down right click, and then let go to send out a little uh, scanning wave. But we're looking for little gem signs, uh, we're not looking for these big boxes, they s normally appear a bit closer to you. And uh, I'm going to be looking for Hadonite. That's what I'm really after. I'm not really interested in any of the other stuff. And when I've done this previously, I've found that the gems do just pop up when you're really close to them or even flown past them. So you have to just keep scanning as much as you can. Yeah, that's what I found to get my best results anyway. Oh, finally a nice little cluster. What is it? Come on, please be had a nice... Oh, there's only two rocks. No. <laughs> I've been flying around for ages. I can't find any. This is why I prefer the mining with a ship. But I think we're gonna have to make do, just gonna have to grind it out and hope for the best. 
But of course, you do have 24 hours with these, so you'll definitely make your money back. Oh, is this something I just flew past? Oh, what's this? Um, yeah, you'll definitely get your rental fees back plus profit, so it's worth doing it. It just can be a little bit grindy. And other times you'll come down, oh my god, and you will fly down onto the planet. The first thing you'll see will be a cluster of gems like this, and they'll all be had tonight. And boom, you've made all your money back and a lot of profit. So what are these? Cadenite, yes. Oh, I'm on a deck yet. Okay, I think this whole cluster is Hadonite. Right, okay, cool. So it took me about 20 minutes to find the first a lot of Hadonite. So that's not too bad, I guess, but... Yeah, it can feel like a real grind at times. Plonk this over here, a little bit out of the way. Boom. And uh, there we go. Do love the Cutlass Black, it's such a great ship. Oh, can't get past the wheel that. I've got to keep an eye on my health here and the temperature. Make sure I've got some med pens. Okay, I'm equipped. Make sure I put my helmet on. Probably help a little bit, wouldn't it? There we go. Now I've just got to make sure I actually mine this Hadonite successfully. And will we make him money? Okay, looking good. Right, okay. So there's a few here, so you should make a good amount. And uh, hopefully all goes well. But you can see there the mining mode gauges. On the left, you've got the laser intensity. You can see me scrolling up and down there. You just do that with the mouse wheel. And on the right, you've got the charge level with the optimal range, which is green, and you keep it in that, and that will then break the rock successfully without exploding it everywhere. Um, if it goes into the red zone, the overcharge zone, it will explode, and you'll um, lose the gems, especially if it goes fully red and completely explodes. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on with it. So with these, you've got to be really careful. Uh, they can spike quite aggressively so just take your time with it once you find a good sort of speed you can just keep looking at it and looking off of it um, so that it doesn't explode uh, it's been a while since I've done this so I've got to get <laughs> used to it again Uh, but the trick is to get it to go into the green, look off just long enough to stop it overcharging, and then look back at it so that it is charging. That looks pretty close to me. there that should get it there we go right click to switch to extraction mode and uh, suck them on up there you go well, that's a bit worrying it's not bought up the cargo at the top left, like I think it's meant to now. Um, I am getting super hot though. Got six minutes of survival. Might have to go into the shipping cooldown in a moment. Try and get another one. Uh, again, if, you, if I didn't mention it earlier, I don't know if I remembered, but you press M to go into mining mode. 
There we go. And then um, it will be in fracture mode. And right click swaps to extraction mode. And right click swap back. There we go. Cock this up, and I. Scan scan okay, let me scan this one. Scan Trying to swap between the two to charge two at once, but it kept resetting the first one. Scan oh, that's weird. It's only let me do one at a time. Scan okay, we'll just do it like the other one. We'll just look on and off of the rock to control it a little bit. This is working. Power there we go. Boom, there's another one. I don't know how much cargo I've got right now. I've got three minutes until I'm going to start dying from the heat here on Ariel. Got to say, this is much nicer since they've done a few updates. This the the UI that we're looking at here is a new UI, and um, the rock performs m much better than when it first came out. I do wish I could turn that voice off though. It talks way too much for uh, my liking when I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> oh! I am dying. We've got to run into the ship. I'll leave that there a minute. Should be alright. Close that up. Get into the crew quarters. Should be much safer in here. Yeah, you know, temperature's plummeting now. God damn, it is so hot. Really need to get a Pembroke armor set. Um, yeah, probably make sure you've got an extra 10 grand on top of the costs for the rentals. And get yourself a Pembroke armor set. Um, I actually think you need 12, is it maybe? I was like, when I've done this run, we will go and get one. I'm actually still overheating, even though um, I'm in my ship. Oh no. Oh boy, what's the claim time on this going to be then? 13 minutes, not too bad. Not going to pay an expedition fee, expedite fee, whatever you call it. Expedite fee, right? Expedited fee. Okay, yeah, we're not paying that. Oh boy, and when we get back down to Ariel, we're going to have to pay um, or put in another claim for the rock and um, get them back. How much cash we got? Okay. Well, might as well go and see how much the Pembroke arm will be. It's um, it looks like ten grand, but I think it's extra for the helmet. So we'll have a look. Are you doing like a conga? I think these guys see something they like. They're very close. <laughs> um, here we go. Oh, they've made it cheaper. Okay. Oh, well, we can get all of it. Let's get it. Buy, boom. Pembroke. Purchase. Done. 
Feel free to take a look around. We got a pretty good selection. Purchase a helmet. Done. That leaves us 1400. Cool. Save that. And that is set up, ready to go. I will actually put the med pens on. And we'll grab a bottle of water. To add to the uh, backpack. Say so that we've got some water. There we go. Now we've just got to wait for the ship. And uh, there's a little look at the Pembroke armor See, suit. Like. Yes, I like this armor suit. Leave me alone. Which does look pretty damn cool. Helmet's a bit big and beefy, but it's pretty cool. It does cause an issue with the Moby glass. It cuts off some of the things down here, but you can still select them. So it's not too much of a problem, which is a little bit annoying. No way. It's all gone wrong, guys. I cannot get my rock back. This is, I don't know. I mean, I've jumped in quite a few different servers. I also got stuck on a load screen after I logged out in my cutlass black bed. Ah, oh, it's, it's been a disaster. I don't think I'm going to get around this, guys. What a nightmare. Wow. Like I've said before, I'm not going to polish over things in this series. I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, um, yeah, this is part of the experience if you join the verse. This was partly my fault, just to be very, very clear. I should have remembered my Pembroke armor suit. Never, ever, ever go out in a rock without uh, the Pembroke or a Novikov set. You know, for the hot or the cold, depending where you are. And... Um, yeah, that is my bad. 100% my fault. And if I had remembered the suit in the first place, of course none of this would have happened. Um, and um, on top of that, while I've been jumping servers, I got stuck in an infinite load screen. It was really annoying. Tried loads of different stuff, delete my user folder, all that kind of thing. Could not get in. And then eventually, after many, many tries, eventually I did get back in. And uh, still can't get the rock back. So... Yeah, not good. Yeah, I'm um, out of time for recording today. I've got stuff to do, and I've only got six hours left before the Cutlass Black and the Rock are taken away from me. I wonder if we've got a nice view out of here while we're going up into the atmosphere. Oh, not a bad look. That'll do. So, yeah, um, been a disaster, guys. I'm going to try my best to make up with the time I've got as soon as I can get back on later. But um, I think I'm going to have to do some more missions, get some more money together, and re-rent the Cutlass Black and the Rock. I could just gloss over this and, you know, restart the video once I've got another load of money together to do this. But like I said, I don't want to polish over stuff. I want to show as much of the game experience, good and bad, as I can. And, um, yeah, this kind of thing is part of... Star Citizen. Like I said, th this was down to me, really. If I'd remembered my Pembroke suit, none of this would have happened. It would have been fine. Um, but I forgot, and then I got hammered by the bugs of the game. And that's unfortunate, but it's something, once you've been in the verse while, you do come to expect. It's an alpha game, early alpha at that, and um, yeah, these are the things you've got to expect. So if you do get Star Citizen, just bear that in mind that this is the kind of thing you might have to deal with from time to time. But I'm not going to let it hold me down. I will get the money together. We will go back out and do this. And hopefully next time we will have a successful expedition with the Cutlass Black and the Rock. Make some money and be well on the way to our first ship. Which I guess probably will be a Cutlass Black. Um, yeah, I would love a Prospector. But like we've spoke of before not going to have anything to haul the mineables with once they're done, once they've been refined. So I guess we're going to have to do it this way around. And I hope I get better luck than I've had with this today. If you are enjoying the series, obviously this was a disaster today, but you know, you might have enjoyed it for entertainment purposes and what a noob I've been. 
Um, so do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell so you don't miss these videos every week, Monday, 8 p.m. GMT, and live streams and all that kind of good stuff. And um, yeah, it will let me know you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying making it, so I really hope people enjoy watching it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, or maybe in the verse. Who knows? Bye.